you get a client you get a client everybody gets a client well not everybody the problem with that is the approach so hi there namaskar my name is jayant kumar and welcome to my channel in here i'm talking about freelancing today well with public key demand and the most popular question how to find clients i'm going to answer that in this video but before i start this i mean of course i'll start this after the music but before i start this go ahead and subscribe to my channel it's a new channel and i'd love to grow and i would love your love so without any further ado let's get started Now, the most popular question, as I mentioned, is, Jayant Bhai, how do I get clients? I want to take you through three perspectives, okay? Just three simple perspectives that you need to understand before you even get a client or before you even think about landing clients. Think yourself from, consider yourself from your customer's shoes, all right? Now, imagine there is a business person. Imagine you are a business person. Would you hire yourself if you needed a skill? If the answer to that question is no, then probably you need to work on your skills still. Okay, but I don't want to spread negativity. I want to answer a question, how to get clients, all right? So to do that, I'm going to share my mind map right now and I'm going to show you what is the right process. And to do that and to answer that question, I'm going to show you a mind map right now, which is going to explain to you how you can do it. All right, it's a very simple process. Let me just type something in. Uh, how to find clients. So, all right. So you might be a freelancer, you might be an agency owner, but there is always this one rule to find clients. Learn a skill, find a niche. And since I'm into digital marketing space, I might not be able to talk about all the other space out there but mostly this process is the same anywhere you go all right so the first step is to learn and specialize in one particular skill now let me put it in uh, learn and specialize in one one skill all right this is very important now this skill can be anything it can be you know as simple as SEO all right it can be let's say content writing all right or maybe perform oh oops performance marketing it can be like a uh, performance marketing would include fb ads google ads ui ux design web dev development and you know it can be many other things right it can be like lead generation okay it can be sales as a service funnel optimization now these are a few of the many many skills that you may acquire on the process right but you just need to pick one if you are starting out, if you are a freelancer or an agency, it's best to just focus on one service. Okay. Now, my specialization is content marketing. So I would write content marketing. And this kind of includes a couple of things. It's not exactly uh, a one niche kind of thing. Because kind of my work kind of consists of a lot of things. So content marketing includes... Uh, creating uh, video and image content or especially okay I'll just come to that four part later next uh, another one of my responsibilities is writing emails so basically I take care of content you know optimizing articles or SEO writing captions for posts 
So these are some of the content marketing work that I do. So basically this includes almost everything where if, if you see a content, it's probably written by me if you are looking at one of my clients, okay? Now, what are the benefits of, like, why am I into content marketing? I initially started with a, a web de development career, but I kind of drifted towards content marketing. So the next thing to focus on is number two, industry. Now, this is very, very important. Most people say, I want to be an SEO expert. Most people say, I want to be a performance marketer expert or performance marketing expert. I want to be a funnel builder and whatnot. Okay. That's not the niche. Niche composes of two things. The first is your skill, at least in terms of freelancing niche, not any other kind of niche. First that is needed is your skill. The second is your industry right? The first thing is your skill. The first thing you ever need to consider in your niche is your skill. The second is industry. And by industry, I mean, who are those people that you are going to serve? Okay, as simple as that. So in here, I'll type in industry. Mein kya uh, you can say hotels and travel, health, and you can even further like break it down health e-commerce or even fitness e-commerce or you may write SaaS, SaaS companies, even SaaS companies can be divided into many, many varieties. So SaaS may, it, it can be email marketing companies or WordPress uh, companies or it can be like, you know, nowadays this data science is popular, science companies or even you can like niche it down, let's say crypto companies or, uh, you know, let's say what else, like there are a lot of SaaS things, let's say SEO tools. So these are some of the SaaS companies that just come to me out of thin air. Okay. These are just examples. There can be like stock uh, trading companies. Now we have listed some of the industries. You can pick your industry. It can be anything. It can be education. It can be coaches and trainers. The list is endless. So now what you have to do is basically pick one uh, industry as simple as that. Next thing is you need to combine both. Now, this is the most important part. For a big part of my life, I did not understand why. I'll tell you why. SEO for travel is hell and heaven different from SEO for e-commerce. Performance marketing for, let's say, this Pikachu will be very different for performance marketing for this mic because the audience is different. The end customer is different. Their goals are different. Their ambitions are different, right? Somewhere they may merge just like this in this room, but not always, right? So now the third thing that you need to do is to combine the, the both things combine. Okay. Uh, I'll type it down. The combine me you need to write, let's say SEO for e-commerce or let's say performance marketing for uh, performance marketing or performance marketing for health or hospitals. I don't know. This seems like a good case, right? Forgive my typo. Okay. So third can be like, let's say, uh, SEO for fintech, not fintech, I'll just type crypto coins, crypto companies. Okay, so these are the you know combinations that you can use and you can have endless combinations. You know, recently I found a guy who did Quora marketing for hospital industry. Just imagine, I didn't even think that, you know, uh, it, it can be a great niche and he literally goes ahead and answers people's questions and runs some Quora ads and he's doing great. I mean, that's a great niche, right? Not a lot of competition. And once you figure these things out, competitions reduce and you know, 
chances of you getting hired increases like anything. Next thing is show your work. So number four to focus on is show your work. So how do you show your work? You need an achievement. So I'll just cut it off and write uh, develop an achievement. So now this can be anything related to your niche, by the way. If you are doing SEO, you need to rank, right? So I was in an SEO interview once and there were a lot of people and I was not selected. Fortunately so, because I'm very happy at where I am right now, but it taught me a very good lesson. So I was at this SEO interview and, you know, my the interviewer asked, I don't care how much SEO you know. I don't care about your knowledge. I don't care where you have trained from. I don't care whom you have trained under. Just give me two words or two keywords or key phrases that I'll type right now. And if your content doesn't show up in the first page of Google, you will not be hired. As simple as that. Now, I was a beginner. I didn't know anything. I, I knew squat. But that taught me a big deal that day. People don't care where you have come from. All right, they care about what you can do for them. And that is all that matters. Now, if you are into SEO, get some achievement, rank some keywords related to that industry. So there is a, you know, right now I have clients who are into SaaS products. I'll not name my clients, by the way, uh, NDAs. But, uh, you know, I have been working for clients who are into SaaS. I have been working for clients who are into e-commerce, all because I have like confirmed keywords that are ranking for them. I have confirmed email open rates. I have confirmed conversion rates of emails because of which they allow me to do their email marketing. All right. Now you need to develop that achievement. That achievement, you can show it to them and tell them that, hey, if I can do this for myself with a limited resource, with a limited funding, I can definitely do this for you. Now that is a game changer that nobody talks about. No fiber, no Upwork, no marketplace will ever tell you how to go there. All right. So fourth point, develop an achievement. And what you need to do, I'll, I'll just write it down some examples. If you are in SEO, rank some keywords. If you are into lead generation oops oops well generate leads as simple as that right generate leads let's say lead generation for real estate all right you need to generate leads for real estate it's very simple right imagine if you are if you're not even working for a real estate company, just build a landing page, build a lead magnet and just generate leads. You can literally sell those leads to a real estate contractor. You don't even need a job or need a client. You just sell those to some contractor who will be very happy to pay you a very good amount for your work. I mean, that is one way to go. But if you are showing your work that way, if you are like really generating good amount of leads for them, quality leads for them, why would anyone not pay you am i correct right i hope that makes sense if that makes sense do comment now this is something that you can do develop an achievement if you are into performance marketing if you are into performance marketing uh you know uh show some cdrs and uh, leads or conversions these are something that you need to show if you are into performance marketing and performance marketing can be into many different aspects let's say google ads you can say google ads ke liye google ads for bakery industry seems legit google ads for uh, books authors i don't know Google ads for tools, woodcutters. I don't know. You pick an industry, you pick an industry and find an achievement. You show them that you did something without any resources in the same niche that they are in. They will definitely qualify you for the next freelancer, you know. So that's how it works. Okay.
develop an achievement. Next, show your work. I'm going to show you my work in a bit. All right. This is the most important thing. Create your own website. It can be your own website in your own, uh, you know, name. It can be a website. Uh, it's basically good if it is in your own name so that, you know, you can basically showcase your work. My portfolio website is giantparty.com and people, my you know, freelance, my clients go to giantparty.com and they see my work there. Okay, it's as simple as that. Now, I'll show you how it looks like. Uh, as simple as that and it can be a stupidly simple single page website you don't have to put too much fush into it but if you want you can merge both of this you can have a big website with uh, the home page can work like a landing page in which customers can uh, contact their your client potential clients can look at your work and you can also have a blog which ranks it is as simple as that that can be there but I, I personally prefer to keep this thing separate so that my personal portfolio works as a landing page, basically. So there is no other page in my personal portfolio and it is just a single page website. There are no distractions and my client can just visit the things that he wants to, he or she wants to. Okay. All right. Now that we are here, simply visit jayanthpadi.com. So this is basically my portfolio website. I'm not using anymore because I kind of have hit my limit. Uh, I have enough brands working with me. I don't want to get more clients right now. So this is kind of stagnant. Even my lead magnets are not properly arranged. So forgive me. But I just want to show you the structure of my website, which just worked. Okay. So now see this is a cool email signature on top. There is a headline and what I do, right? I'm a content marketer who helps or I'm helping SaaS and e-commerce brands build trust through content. Very simple. What, who I am, who I help with and how I help with. So basically all my things are explored here and this is my pick and in front of uh, the Adirapalli waterfall, I love trekking by the way. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, once you scroll down, the first thing that they see is trusted by leading brand. They see a lot of SaaS companies, e-commerce companies, marketing agencies. Again, this is Koso IT, a data science company that I worked with. Learn Today is my current employer. And, uh, you know, Organic Netra is another company that I have worked with. Now, these are some of the companies that I worked with. And once my potential client just scrolls down, they see the brands that I have already worked with. How cool is that? right next what my clients say as simple as that right very cool so this is basically client testimonials what they have told about me next when you scroll what do i do i help them with article writing and email marketing so content marketing can be a very vast field some of my clients want me to write their caption that's fine but primarily my income comes through article writing and email marketing right so these are the two things that i do so i wrote them and i also have like two um, you know buttons here who are basically two lead magnets so i'm still creating those lead magnets but i had previously created certain lead magnets but uh, you know i just wanted to revamp that so the previous lead magnet basically did not categorize my clients who needs what so basically if a person wants email marketing they will click on the five stage email formula here and if a person wants article writing they will click on the deep content method here but earlier it used to be just one call to action so i could not segment this so right now i'm kindly kind of making these two uh you know uh these two lead magnets so i'll be updating them soon but well it's fine, right? Now here I show my cool SEO results. See, this is a website called Pop Experts, and it is literally ranking. Uh, it has only six backlinks, but it is ranking for 195 keywords. Can you imagine that? Right? It's on Google's website. It is ranked by Google for very good, uh, you know, keyword uh, keywords, and it has like only 10 to 20 um articles on it right which is crazy and i just i was i got shocked when i saw this okay so and all of it was done through pure research and because of good content so i can tell them that see i don't have the resources to build backlinks or buy backlinks or whatnot 
but I have the resources to do good research and write good content. And when they see this, they become very happy. And I think this is one of the primary selling criteria in uh, for me. Next, this is the result where I rank on the you know first page of Google. And this one keyword brings me like 1000, 2000 visitors in a month, which is crazy, right? Next, another of, one of my blogs, Ecom Element, which has a pretty steady growth. And uh, it, it the best thing about this is I built 157 backlinks organically. I did not approach anyone. I just wrote very good content. The article, the blog was very okay. Like, I mean, the growth was pretty cool, pretty organic, not much fuss in the blog. But people started linking back to me because my research was that good. And this I thought one of is one of the best selling point of my blog. And I just showed this. Okay, so this pic, see how the backlinks were built and I did not even do anything. Although the ranks were like a little less, that's fine because I don't post much here. But whenever I post, I get results like this. See, scored feature snippets here for two different keywords. So ranked on top for this particular keyword. And there are many more keywords that I rank for. And uh, so these are some of the results. And finally, a call to action. Do you want similar results? Let's, let's connect. So anybody who wants to connect with me, just fill this form and hit send. They become my subscriber. By the way, I automated this process. Also, they become my lead so I can connect with them. And this is what has helped me a lot when it comes to getting clients for myself. And yeah, that's how it works. So that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you learned a thing or two about uh, lead generation and getting clients. I'll create more videos on this. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ask questions in LinkedIn. Go to my LinkedIn. I'll give the link of my LinkedIn profile in the comments. You can go there and ask me any question. I'll create a video for you and post it here on my YouTube channel. Seems fair. Go ahead and do that. Shallow. Bye.